Our first question, and we will progress to his right. Will you personally read the entire bill before voting? <laughs> yes. <laughs> because the bills I'll pass will be much smaller. <laughs> the bills I'll pass will make sense. The bills I'll pass will be plain enough that fifth graders can read them and understand them. Ladies and gentlemen, we must stop this madness on Capitol Hill. And uh, I have to confess something. I didn't read the health care bill because I, I'm busy right now. I don't have time reading fiction. <laughs> well, Brother Don, I did read the health care bill. There's a lot of scary stuff in there. And yes, I will read the bills. I know that others have spoken here in our panel that uh, they won't read the bill and didn't read the bill when they were there last time. The fact is, we don't want to have any bills coming through. Every bill that comes through and makes it into law is another link in the chain of our enslavement. The idea is to keep the federal government off our back. But yes, I will read every bill. I will yell, kick, and scream if they get any longer than, say, 50 pages, because I don't like to read that much either. And that's exactly what we'll work on. So yes, I will read every bill. I won't read every page of every bill because there would be nothing else you could possibly do. I will know what's in every bill. I will make sure that the basic principles upon which I base my decisions are consistent with that bill. And when they aren't, I will not vote for it. If you don't go to Washington with a fundamental grounding in what you believe, bills can be contorted and amended and manipulated and maneuvered, and things can be added in conference committee where you're not a member of that co conference. Things can be added after the vote, and they have been added on this last bill after the vote. So if you don't ground your vote, you don't ground your position in your political philosophy, what you believe in, what you have stood for, all that you have, have learned in your experiences, then you're going to be caught reading a bill and not fully understanding everything else that's going on. It's got to be based on principles. In my 12 years of service in the United States House of Representatives, I was not able to read every single line of every single bill that I was called on to vote on. And so I won't be able to promise you that I will read every single line of every single bill. I will, however, do exactly what I did in my 12 years, and that is hire good people, good people that share my values, that will help me in the legislative process, whether it's legislating on the House, on the Senate floor, in the committee process, in town hall meetings uh, with constituents that I will have uh, should you decide to elect me to serve you. Uh, and as Senator Coates said, it is important that we have a fundamental set of principles that we use to filter every single thing that we do in Washington, D.C., not just the legislative process, uh, but also in our, uh, in our demeanor with our colleagues, with our relationship with our constituents. Those are the principles that are uh, in the legislative record. Thank you. Have. Thank you. This is the reason why I think it's important, more than even reading the bill, understanding the bill. It is easy for us, you know how we are at night, to breeze through the uh, last couple of pages of the book we want to finish. But if we can't comprehend the bill because the language is so construed because of the legal jargon and because we complicate it so much because of the, the uh, lawyers in Washington that complicate it and because of all the amendments, because of all the uh, language that's inserted in the bill, at that point we need leadership who is going to keep these bills clean and vote on them for the issue that they are on a straight up or down vote rather than putting these Christmas trees together full of different bills because they can't pass on their own. We have to stick them into a, uh, a defense bill so that way we can pass it. I believe it's more important even than reading the bill is understanding the bill and if I don't read it, I'll just vote no. <laughs>